Hello Wolves! It is so freaking weird. I never wear colors and I bought myself something yellow. It's so weird. I feel weird. I don't feel myself. I still need to get used to it. I don't. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Yellow kind of makeup now and yellow sweater. Who am I? <laughs> You're here today for this readathon series that I'm making, filming, etc. Unfortunately, I didn't find a lot of readathons for actually March and April, except for two. And the rest I found on Cass, so a little owl, little book owl. I will link her channel down below and she has some kind of calendar uh, in which she actually puts all the readathons going on. You, If your readathon is not uh, visible there, you can just apply yours so you can just send a notification. You have like a form you can fill in and she will add it then. But yeah, so we're gonna... It's gonna be... So yeah, I think it's gonna be a very fast video because I didn't find lots of readathons. The only one I found are like two that you uh, told me and a few that I found also on a uh, little book owl website so we're just gonna go through that it's gonna be a chiller video than usual because usually it's a long video and I talk a lot etc etc and I have so many readathons to talk about like last time it was 25 readathons 25 plus something like that so this time uh, it's gonna be shorter and yeah so the first readathon I'm going to talk about is one that you mentioned and the name is Zodiacaton. It's going to start on March 19th until March 25th. It is run created by Kerry Book Bell and it is a readathon team to run Astrology and the Majesty of the Universe. So is there any information about the next session we're going to have? It says here, time for details, star children. This round of Zodiacaton we will be focusing on our Lilith signs. Lilith, Alpha the Black Moon, is your dark side it's often associated with sex but we're going to be focusing on the other aspect of it. Lilith isn't actually a specific bodily placement it's the lack of one. It's defined by empty space and is associated with death, taboo, transformation and obsession. I like to say it's a kind of supervillain you will be. All traits of our Lilith sign are extreme and distorted. So as such we are going to be focusing on darker themes in our books this time. You have sort of reading challenges, everything will be linked down below as usual. Six, read a book with a morally grey character. Oh my gosh, I want to participate in that one now. This challenge uh, for... so I'm a Libra. For that one I would have to read a book including a secret plot. Oh, that could be easy to find as well. So okay if you have any more questions you can ask them and they will answer to you it sounds amazing uh it sounds like it's very doable and it will be easy to find books uh for these but oh it says here double triple do as much as you want so that's even better because it's a one week long readathon so you don't have like tons of times when whenever you have like a month long readathon you sometimes have 20 prompts but that's more doable than if you use graphic novels mangas etc than like a one week long readathon if that makes sense but yeah and the next one I actually have is one uh, going on in April and it is obviously the Owls. So the magical readathon created by G. Overly Book Gross. If you're not familiar with it, where have you been? Because everyone has been talking about those readathons. You have the Owls in April, you have the Newts in August. So basically you are going to Hogwarts and you're gonna sit your exams. That's that's it. That's basically it. So during the owl, so it's a month long written and during the owls you have one book per prompt, one book per um, course. So you have herbology, you're gonna have one prompt for herbology for instance. Uh, pick a book with a plant on the cover. Then you're gonna have a care of magical creatures. Pick a book with a dog on the cover or some kind of animal on the cover or that has a dog or a pet in the story. You know that kind of prompts. And so it means that you could have up to 15 books to read because actually whatever you're gonna read in April is gonna influence what you're gonna have to read in August because imagine you don't read Care of Magical Creatures and then in August you're gonna set your nudes so in order to 
reach some kind of career. You know, you're aiming for some kind of career. Imagine you would like to be an animal carer or whatever uh, for your news, etc. And you have obviously the prompt care of magical creatures, but you didn't read the book for that prompt in April. Uh, I'm sorry, but you cannot sit your care of magical creatures exam because you didn't pass it years before, you know, months before, but we'll say years before. It doesn't make any sense because for the owls, you can read all 15 books if you want, but you can also try to be strategic and pick like the courses you think you're gonna need for your newts. And also what I recommend you to do if you wanna play the game like 100%, go under G's announcement video for the news for last year and download, she created the files with all the prompts for each career, etc., etc. So you will see that, for instance, if you wanna be a Nora, um, if you want to be like a professor, if, let's say you want to be a teacher, or let's say you want to work for the Ministry of Magic, let's say you want to be a professor, you want to be a director, you want to be a journalist or whatever, you're going to have all the prompts you will need to pass in order to become that person, to have that career. So maybe it will help you pick for your owls kind of thing, but I'm super excited for, and especially because during the news you had three prompts per course. So let's say for herbology, you're going to get that to get your A, acceptable. Then you're going to have your E for exceptional, I think. Exceptional. Ex spe exceeded expectation. And then you're going to have like O for outstanding. So yeah, it, it sounds all complicated when I explain it, but please go under G's book roast, um, I mean, videos, announcement videos. She didn't do it. By the time I found this, she didn't upload the one for uh, the upcoming one because she's working, I guess, on new prompts, etc., etc. Basically, it's going to be the same as last year, but check and keep your eyes open for the new video. So these were everything I got from you wolves. Uh, so now we're gonna go through what a little book owl, so keys found. Obviously, I will link her channel down below because this is not my work, but this is hers. Uh, so let's start with what she found in March. There is also the Pondaton finishing in March. So if you in the middle of it, you can do it. <laughs> Okay, so first we have the Hamilton, the Readathon, uh, an American musical inspired Readathon round two coming March 2020. More details coming soon. It's hosted by Fox Fairy Tale. So I don't have more info here. Oh, yes, I do. Announcement and prompts. Okay, it was uploaded like 20 hours ago. Uh, is it a video? Oh, no, that's on WordPress. Here we have the challenge will run throughout the entire month of March. So March 1st to March 31st in your own time zone. So that's nice. Uh, you can follow her on Instagram, Hamilton underscore Reds, or the Twitter account, Hamilton underscore Reds, etc, etc. There is also a hashtag and blah, blah, blah. How it works, it's 220 years since the election of 1800 and we're going to replay the campaign and the song and loop on Dubbed by picking a candidate team and reading throughout March. You will choose to support either Team Burr or Team Jefferson and each page you read will count as a vote against for the candidate. So when your page count via the Google Sheet here at the end of the month, the winning team will be announced on the Hamilton Ray Twitter account. There are no required reading prompts for this readathon, but there are optional prompts for each team listed below if you're the sort of person who likes the extra challenge. The rules for reading, anything you can add on Goodreads will count as a book, and that's the case for most of readathons, I feel, so that's amazing. It book can only count for one prompt in the chain, okay? Books do not need to be connected to Hamilton, musicals, history, etc. in any way, so that's also fine. Sounds amazing, people are really like, yay, yeah, more Hamilton, I have to go with Timber for this one because blah blah blah, okay. So there is uh, that reason going on early, uh, I mean, for the entire month of March. It sounds like fun, actually. The prompts are not that difficult. And I love the fact that you don't go need to go with prompts. You can read whatever you want because each page counts as a vote, which is also super nice. Then there is the March Mystery Madness Challenge Group. 
It is on Goodreads, but it is about the center of every mystery novel is a puzzle, a puzzle for the reader and so to solve as one. Through a thread of events stretch into a 200 page fun house of mirrors. If you love puzzles and the construction of peace in the face of chaos or have an appetite for sudden hands, narratives of misleading plots add a stream and frustrated in red hearings. Then you're in the right place to share your delight in the mystery genre. The camera fell, so I'm sorry, Walls. I didn't mean to. Uh, the next one I see is actually the A year -thon, which happens actually very often, right? Is it like a monthly thing? I totally forgot because I know I talked about it a few times. Yes, it is a monthly thing. You, you have a challenge every single month. So it's gonna start on March 9 until March 15 and it is actually link the books. So for instance, I read Chamber of Secrets and take the word secret and read You Can Keep a Secret, which is a YA book. So next I read The Hate You Give, the main character's name is Star. So next I read The Sun is also a star, etc, etc. Sounds very interesting. That's very good to know. I mean to do. Sounds like fun something like I could try to do. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to think that way but it's really interesting and in April it's gonna start April 13 until April 19 and it is the highest and rated Goodreads books owned. So for instance read your highest and lowest books according to Goodreads and let us know if it's really a that good or that bad. Okay, that's also something I could do. Oh my gosh, so many things I want to do but in April I'm gonna do like the owls, I'm gonna take my owls, so I'm not gonna have time to do anything else, like basically really. Okay, then I see here the Voltaton, the Disney Vault Readathon, a low-key readathon dedicated to underrated Disney movies. Each run is inspired by a different movie, Run 3, Atlantis, uh, run by the world nerd. Hey you all, I haven't picked all the movies just yet, but if you want the dates for next year's run for Voltaton, there are Run 3, March 16th to 22nd, 2020, and then you have in June, and then you have in September. So is it like... So the round three is going to be all about Atlantis, The Lost Empire. I haven't picked the book for that one yet though, so if you have any suggestions, drop them below. Okay, so there is no more info so far, I think. Not that I can find, so if you're interested in that, keep an eye on the Twitter. Then there is a 24 before Monday readathon but I don't know what it is about actually because all I can see is an hashtag actually. Okay apparently if I understand well it is like a 24 hour readathon like you have to ring during 24 hours before Monday. That's all I can understand from that because I don't see like growth or whatever but here in the calendar it starts like Friday uh, March 27 until Sunday 29 so yes if you do eight hours on Friday eight hours on Saturday and eight hours on Sunday you get your 24 hours so yeah I love those kind of very short readathons because you can really focus on only just like reading and go through books like faster and just focus like okay next week I'm gonna just read and do nothing during the weekend and blah 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 so I, I, I really do love that kind of stuff as well. Then obviously we have the bookie trials in March I think. I cannot find more info but apparently it's gonna start also on Friday March 27 until Sunday March 29 and apparently there's gonna be like a mini quest or whatever mini trial kind of thing so I'm also interested in that one because um, Rachel is actually full of uh, imagination and she creates amazing things with everything she did with the winter quest etc etc so I really love her as a person and as a creator and she gathers the community all together uh, like through those trials so it was very fun I couldn't participate to all of them because I was just too busy but I highly recommend her uh, readathons then we have the queer lit readathon that starts on March 28th and finish on 29th so a two day long readathon kind of thing and it is hosted by Shannon Nose and Catherine Stray Hart. Is there any more info here? Rogan and I have decided on dates for run 5 and 10 blah 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 blah. Okay so we have the dates there. To explain these extra dates which have fantastic name I made everyone a little announcement video. I just went line on my okay. So there is a video you can watch so I suggest you to watch that. I will link it down below. 
Then we have the Pageathon which is gonna take place in April for the entire month of April and it is hosted by Reading Trash. Also, I cannot find any info. How come? I don't understand. There is a spreadsheet, so let me check if there's something I could find more like info, whatever. That's maybe from last year. But the, there was like seasonal challenge details. A mainly blue and all white cover, winter in the size of book is set mainly in winter. Etc. Etc. That's probably the version that I mean the edition that just happened. Fan fiction, fiction details, short details, blah blah blah. Okay, next edition, January 2020. So actually, there is one finishing now. So that's why I don't have more info about what's coming up. But it's about it was about seasons, and your birthday determine um, your birthday determines your team, and the seasons are divided up in the old way. Bring one. <laughs> okay, I. I didn't know about that reason, but yeah. So check it out if you participated in it uh, lastly, or last year, or last summer, whatever, you want it again, or you want to try something different. Could be like a good way to start. Okay, that's all I have actually. Oh no, there is a Dewey's 24 hour on uh, Saturday, April 25th. That's all for this time, Wolves. I'm so sad I didn't find more than that, but hey, we cannot be like, all doing so many readathons every single month. Uh, but please, if you know of any readathon going on in March and April, please uh, let me know down below so I can add it to the list and be aware of it and maybe check it for next year, etc. etc. Because I'm creating all that database kind of thing. And yeah, well, so that's pretty much it. I'm sorry I don't have more. But I also got super busy, so I couldn't like search for hours and hours. And you didn't find any either. So I was like, okay, maybe that just March and April will have less free funds going on during those two months. I don't know. But yeah, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. Talk to me in the comment section as usual. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Wolves. Bye.